All hopes of the fashion industry reopening after the lockdown have been doused by the second surge of coronavirus infections and also the growing number of people working from home. This next report tells you about the impact of the virus and lockdowns on the global fashion industry. Take a look. With most people in white-collar jobs working from home, sweatpants and comfortable attire are now in vogue. Athleisure has now taken on a new meaning. After a short respite, countries across Europe are seeing a resurgence in COVID-19 cases. Besides Europe, the United States and Australia are among the countries which have witnessed a second wave of the outbreak. The effect of this has been detrimental on businesses, having profound repercussions across the supply chain, mainly for suits and formal wear. Australia is the biggest producer of merino wool. The behavioural and lifestyle shift has resulted in low wool prices. Prices have halved. From around $14.16, the price for merino wool fell to about $5 per kilogram in early September. Sheep farmers are now trying to store the wool in every possible shed. Now, of course, now if you talk about the people working, uh, smart working, uh, maybe even they do Zoom video, they don't need to wear any clothes. They just wear a shirt or maybe a the relaxing clothes. So for sure, this will not help the use or the buy of the formal uh, wear. But uh, we believe that this will be uh, improved again when, the, unfortunately, now we are again in a second wave of this situation. But after the vaccine, we hope the situation will improve a little by little. The impact of the virus can be felt on sartorial industries across the globe. The sales of custom-made suits in New York have dropped substantially. The owner of bespoke tailors, Domenico Spano, says sales of his custom-made exclusive woolen suit lengths have dropped by half. From 15 to 20 suits a month, the sales of these high-end suits has dropped to 4 to 5 a month. Formal attire has been abandoned by many with more and more people working from home. So far in 2020, suits have ranked among the highest discounted and lowest selling items in France, Italy and Germany. Mills too have seen a drop in sales and this doesn't seem likely to change anytime soon. Our mills are big, we, we employ more than, in a lot of cases, more than 200 people and our machineries are made, are adapted to make one kind of product. So it's very difficult to change this kind of concept uh, radically. Obviously, what we're trying to do is to diversify as much as possible. So uh, we're trying to, to create uh, fabrics that are more towards the leisure wear and less towards the formal wear. So this is the main part where we are, uh, we are going towards this direction nowadays. With COVID cases on the rise and a drop in wool sales, sheep farmers, tailors and fashion houses are in dire straits upending the garment and winter wear sector across continents. Bureau Report, we on World is One. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever.